thin, lightweight, and flexible. That's how organic and printed electronics are providing impetus, either for light design or touch sensors, for solar cells or battery technologies. Conductive plastics give displays and e-readers an extra touch. RFID labels provide new ways for logistics, marketing, and trademark protection. And that's only the beginning. Organic and printed electronics is really a new technology which only will happen if there is collaboration between a lot of parties in this new industry. And we have with the OEA a meeting point, a central point, a working group of all the different participants. And the cooperation of the OEA members pays off. The sector sheds new light on market-ready products. Self-illuminated films provide designers with extremely thin light sources for the automotive sector, as door sill protectors for body styling, as a tool for speedo lightings, or as function lights for storage compartments integrated into the textile coating. Perfect even for sophisticated architectural ideas. Flexible plastic films that emit homogeneous light can be embedded into the smallest gaps. It also offers unlimited possibilities for customized printed patterns. Modest installation depth allows to install sensor-controlled operating elements even when space is limited. The benefit of printed films is very obvious. Printed films are thin, flexible and lightweighted. And on one film you can integrate plenty of different features, for example electroluminescence, uh, conductive pass and touch sensitive user interfaces. And the entire system can easily be integrated in the customer's environment. Films can be printed with different electronic properties, with resistors and conductors being the base elements. An important goal of the OEA members is the optimization of conducting layers. That's the only way for the suppliers to guarantee the end user the integration of these technologies, as for instance in the case of intelligent packaging. Concerning room lighting, organic light emitting diodes, for short OLEDs, will increasingly be applied. The main advantages are significant cost and efficiency benefits. Various printing methods permit cost-effective production. Industry has to play its part here, as the new electronic developments require new production methods. In plant planning, several steps are necessary. Firstly, printing and coating processes are tested on a laboratory or pilot system. Thus, patterns can be generated on a small scale. If the printing results meet all electronic properties, the engineers eventually develop the production plant for mass production. Individual product lines and customer requests continually provide new challenges for the experts. The challenge for the machinery builder today is the combination of printing, coating and laminating in high speed and high resolution to guarantee the product quality in the end. End products, such as large area solar cells, a future market. Film-based solar cells offer an enormous potential. They are flexible, light, cost-effective, and for flexible use. Thus, energy can be produced where it is needed. With trend-setting plastic electronics, however, plant construction is not the only decisive factor for product quality. The polymers for printing and coating are equally important. Above all, the electrically active materials need high viscosity to be qualified for the printing of very high quantities, up to billions of copies. Crucial in the production of future display generations, for instance. Films to feel and touch is the trend on the electronics market. Either touch screens or touch sensors. Ultra-thin plastic films can be implemented using conductive polyester substrates in a roll-to-roll -roll process. Because of its individual layout, the transparent plastic fits all displays. The user interface is a breeze thanks to its sensory properties. 
And what seems a breeze gives the interactive kick to modern marketing activities. With an electronically coded ticket, the customer faces a random generator. The activator reveals whether the ticket has the same symbol. Even though the game does not promise everlasting winnings, the technology is highly promising. It is called RFID. PolyIC is really aiming at the big vision of RFID, putting a unique identifier on every product. But RFID has more applications which are very good entry markets for us as PolyIC. The authenticity check via RFID tags provides brand manufacturers with reasonable copy protection. The principle behind RFID is simple. There is a reader within the soap dispenser that is able to read the RFID on the refill bottle without eye contact. Thus, the dispenser detects independently whether the refill bottle is authentic and fulfill its duty only if it is from the original manufacturer. Though printed electronics not only conquers new markets based on plastic, but also with paper products. Its surface structure, however, has to be absolutely smooth. The OEA inspired the problem-solving process. With the OEA as platform, we try to identify new trends and technologies, which we may then adapt into our products. And some of the corporations with members of the OEA forced us to use and to think about new technologies like the curtain coating technology. Via curtain coating, an ultra-thin, uniform coating of paper can be achieved, thus generating a homogeneous surface structure. With this, industrial utilization has come within reach and allows to use coating components such as nanoparticles or polymer dispersions, which opens new fields of application in the electronic environment. Pushing market-oriented development. This is the goal of an association composed of science and economy in Heidelberg. The research platform follows its own path. The members separate central issues of current research programs and form working groups on the topics. Their goal is to create new ideas. Large-scale industry participates as well. The chemical group aligns its research efforts for the application of electronics and displays in England. The core competencies are research and development in the field of organic semiconductive materials. Materials that optimize, for instance, new generation displays, cost effective in production, the flexible film transforms energy into light. In Chemnitz, on the other hand, everything is concentrating on printing. The Inkjet Technicum hosts printing systems of leading companies from all over the world. While the laboratory printer of the Californian partner conducts tests, the next system can move the procedure to large-scale operations. The neighboring machine tool partner from Chemnitz provides the scientists with a test plant for industrial production. Using the machinery, the staff researches on the runnability of ink systems and substrates. Our inkjet technium is a collection of the top-notch inkjet gravure printing and screen printing equipment, uh, which allows us to explore new applications of inkjet technology or printing technology in production uh, environment of electronic industry. And colleagues from the industry can get to our lab try out their own ideas without upfront investment, which can be remarkable. And on the other hand, colleagues and guests from international labs come to Chemnitz to get basic training and first experiences in inkjet printing to start their own activities at home. The offer to conduct tests in the scientific environment of the Bauman Group has attracted interest on an international level. The pride of the scientists, printed batteries, has been awarded from the New York Times. Long since, the masterpiece has proved reliable application. Even the prototypes have demonstrated their skills concerning LEDs and other displays. As a second main area of research, the Chemnitz team develops highly functional RFID transponder antennas. 
In order to boost the performance of this cost-effective application, multi-dimensional antenna structures are being tested. They can be printed on nearly everything, paper, cardboard, or films. The trick is, only by actually forming a packaging carton, the antenna develops its full functionality by assuming its three-dimensional shape. RFID allows for wireless identification and track subscriptions of products and goods. Technology based on printed electronics is on the advance. There are a number of applications in the market today. In the future, they will be combined to smart objects. Intelligent packaging is such an example. RFID displays and sensors combined enable completely new applications in logistics and marketing. They can be used everywhere thanks to thin batteries and flexible solar cells. To help the industry grow, the OEA provides the international platform to the industry. A network of industry, science and research. As lobbying group, the OEA pools more than 150 members from 25 countries and also organizes the annual industry meeting LOPEC in Frankfurt. The trade show has already advanced to the world's most important platform. Experts call it the gateway to a new industrial era, a judgment that is shared even by the exhibitors. We come to Frankfurt for LOPEC, uh, two reasons really. One is it's a chance to meet new customers, but two, we have many customers already in Germany, in Europe, and so because of Frankfurt's central location, they can come see us here. The number of visitors this year is up significantly from last year. And the amount of floor space for the exposition has doubled from last year. Exhibiting here uh, for me means exhibiting in the future. If you go here in this fair, this fair actually it's like a trip into the future. Groundbreaking. Thanks to the efforts of the OEA, the interdisciplinary transfer of knowledge and technology promises applications that would have been unthinkable until recently. Thus, organic and printed electronics are opening a future market with virtually unlimited potential.